I don't know if I ended up showing you guys the nursery actually. It's pretty much done. I want to say it's like 95% done. We just need like a few more finishing touches like maybe something up on the wall, some sort of artwork or whatever. But just a few things to bring it more to life. But this is what it is looking like. Somebody had commented I think. It was actually no I did show you guys it was one of my YouTube shorts actually so if you guys have watched my YouTube shorts then you would know what my nursery looks like but somebody commented saying that it looks like a hospital room which fine understandable that it looks like a little hospital room because it's very like beige it's very plain but the reason why I have it so plain is because I can do whatever I want to it once Taylor grows up or if we decide to have another one we can switch things up a little bit but it is just plain I've only been a mother for three weeks motherhood is rough it's only been three weeks that I got forever to go it is exhausting yet rewarding all at the same time we just got back from another appointment we had a breastfeeding appointment um all went great everything is fine and pretty much the only thing i had issues with was trying to get him to latch and i was telling the nurse that i'm able to breastfeed once a day and pretty much i try to breastfeed before actually feeding him a bottle but it's a little bit tough so she gave me some techniques for me to use while trying to get him to latch and really all we need to do right now is just practice which is going to be tough and there's going to be a lot of tears and both myself and taylor are probably going to fight with each other for a little bit until we get this right she also gave me a she with like some herbal remedies but she did say the best way to i guess up your supply for breast milk is to just continue pumping and just drinking lots of water today's the first day where i actually decided to leave the house to do the grocery shopping instead of renee there are things like steak which like i don't really know how to pick out by myself so i'm gonna have to facetime renee and figure out which one to actually buy but i'm actually excited to do grocery shopping on my own it's the first time in a really really long time even prior to being pregnant where i've done groceries all by myself this little boy is so peaceful right now but let me tell you last night was a different story so last night was honestly such a tiring night for me partially my fault because I feel like I need to finish all the chores around the house before I go to sleep and then I'm up around like five-ish, six o'clock in the morning to get everything ready for the day and last night this little guy would only sleep for like an hour and 45 minutes at most between like changes and feeds so I was really tired and Renee had to give me a talk this morning and he basically said the chores can wait because all we need to do is make sure that our little one is okay he's safe he's good that is all that matters the chores can wait we are not trying to impress anyone no one's coming over so if there's dishes in the sink that can wait till the next day you know all that stuff and i'm just someone who likes to have you know the place ready for the next day so that was really that's something that's really hard for me to do but it's clearly catching up to me and i really need some sleep and also i don't take naps in the middle of the day sometimes so i'm just a little cranky pants let's just say but as of right now we are out again we myself and the little one is inside the car just so we can be outside of the house but we are at west coast kids we are picking up like a cover for our play yard just so if he spits up we don't have to continuously like wash it out of like the little like mattress pad and with um the cover we can just like wipe it off easily and also we are getting a cup holder for our stroller so Renee is inside west coast picking that up right now so here we have the cup holder 
And here is the mattress cover. The laundry never ends, especially with these burp cloths and stuff. It just always ends up being the one thing that we wash like every day or every other day. It's currently 6.27 in the morning. We got the sterilizer on. Sink is all cleaned. And this is drying off, ready for later. And I got the babe in hand. So today's prime day and we just bought a mattress and we're looking at sheets right now. So this is a few of our options. We have this one over here, this one. And then I told Renee like there's too many like prints on it and I wanted to do something a little bit more fun. And this is what I chose, French gray. <laughs> is that fun? I don't know. What's fun about that? I don't know, I like it. It's like a cloudy day. <laughs> just gray. Just gray. But I just thought we had too much print that we should just have something plain. Which to me is boring. Fun. Hey. So when I just got home, he ran some errands and got me a little treat. Something I haven't had in a really long time. Some chat time. And this one's cool because it has three different flavors. Which is really cool. I haven't tried anything like this before. Neither have I even seen anything like this at chat time before. Or at least I never really paid attention to it. But this is so cool. Can't wait to try it. Oh, and Renee also got himself a little treat too. He got himself... Hold on. Wait for it. Hold on. It's coming. A foot long cookie. <laughs> That's really long. Oh, it's warm too. Yeah. It's so warm. I'm gonna put ice cream on it. Oh, he's gonna put ice cream on it. That's something that we've been doing, I think, like, well, we actually have only done it for like two nights where we've made cookies and then added ice cream because it tastes really good. And clearly I'm taking advantage of all the sugar that I can have now, but I still need to watch how much sugar I have because in two months, I am gonna have to do another glucose test, sadly. Now I'm trying to figure out how am I going to drink all three. Renee says I'm probably gonna have to poke a hole in all three sides, but I only got like one straw. I feel like I should have given like three straws. Someone has been growing out of their clothes, so now we're at Joe Fresh and we're hopefully gonna purchase some new ones. I came out with nothing. Hopefully Carter's has better things. Finally got Taylor a mattress for his crib. We actually got this yesterday and yesterday was Prime Day, so we got it for a pretty good deal. Pretty excited to finally have a mattress in his crib. And we are slowly going to get him used to sleeping in his crib now. I want to show you guys what we got from Carter's, but also what my parents bought Taylor when they went to Winners. So first off, we have this onesie with a little truck over there. And then we also have this dog onesie which is so cute too bad it doesn't look like our actual dog but this is really cute we just got these two um sleepers from carter's and for my parents they got us this six piece bath set look how adorable these dinosaurs are and then my mom also found these cute dinosaur bibs and also this Disney one too. This one is so cute. And then lastly, some washcloths because we are in need of more washcloths. You can never have enough. And of course we have done some prime day shopping. I already showed you guys the bed, but we also bought some bed sheets. So here is one of the prints. It has like some mountains on them, birds, trees, and the sun. This is just very neutral. I picked them out, obviously. And then we also have this one over here with some animals on them. This came as a set. And pretty much anything else that we 
receive i will just show you guys along the way we're gonna be trying out the new huggies diapers the skin essentials we ended up actually buying a pack on amazon but we needed them now so we went to shoppers and hopefully these ones are good look at this large pile of clothes that i need to fold this is a lot like the fact that these are just like tiny like pieces of clothing like it's quite a bit it's gonna take me all day to do it's a tim hortons type of morning because it was a rough night last night we got more packages from prime day we have some muslin cloths we got our play uh, pack and play sheets and more crib sheets I love these colors. You can clearly tell I'm the one who chose them and not Renee because he would obviously not choose these. But we are going to use the ones that we have for diaper changing and stuff. And then these ones will be like his burp cloths, his new burp cloths. These prints are so cute. I can't get over them. The other two are just plain but these two prints are adorable and then these ones over here for the pack and play these are too cute clearly we're on this like whole dinosaur thing but these are adorable a few more things from amazon came in from prime day we have three things so we have the mom cozy monitor and we also bought is this a stand is this a stand the stand is in here. I'm not going to take it out just yet. But I also bought this to help with my milk production. And it's not focusing. There it is. So this is supposed to help with my milk production. Hopefully, it'll increase the amount of breast milk I have. So I don't have to, I guess, continue giving our son formula well i'm like drawing a blank but hopefully we can just completely be off formula and just exclusively feed him breast milk that is the goal i am struggling a little bit but my breast milk is increasing i feel like every day but i feel like i want more i need more breast milk so hopefully this helps we have the camera all set up in the nursery Look how cute he looks inside his crib. And I love the print that we went with for his um, mattress. He finally fits in his bouncer. Well, kinda. He looks a little tiny, but he's eight pounds, so weight-wise he fits. The first time we put him in here, which I'll pop up a picture now, he was so tiny. I feel like you can barely even see him inside this bouncer. Ooh. Tummy time! Here, let's turn this page. Ooh, look at that pose. <laughs> oh, you just rolled over! <laughs> just oh, rolled over. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Renee just came home from getting a haircut, which you obviously cannot see. But can you tell everybody what special day it is today? It's our anniversary. It's our anniversary. One year anniversary. Our one year wedding anniversary. And he came home with some uh, Krispy Kreme. Now it is only 1.56, so the day has barely even started. I'm gonna be getting my nails done since he got a haircut. And we really don't know what we're gonna do today because we have the little one with us. So that is something obviously different about this year. But we'll see where the day takes us. It feels so nice to have a pedicure. It's been so long, honestly. I feel like it's been close to 10 months which is pretty wild because I used to go all the time but finally got a pedicure and I can finally wear something that is not shoes, sneakers, whatever. I can just have my toes free for the summer so I'm really happy about that and also my heels were oh, crusty dusty. Yeah, she's 
So I went a little off-ish kind of at Winners. Bought a few things for Taylor Boy and also for myself. I got myself a dress, which would be too hard to show you. But I'll show you what I got Lil Tay. So I got him this sleeper. Don't know if I'm going to keep this. If Renee likes it, then we're going to keep it. But we need a lot of onesies or sleepers for this little boy because he goes through them like crazy. But I saw this, and this is so adorable. So we have Winnie the Pooh. We have... Toy Story and this is too cute I had to pick this up but matching with these ones there is also this one how adorable is this this one has to be my favorite one and then this is for myself it's just a dress also decided to get some booster juice for Renee and myself he got nothing better I wanted this or he wanted this in a snack size but apparently they don't do snack size so now he's just got this regular size which is honestly so big but I got myself a snack size watermelon wave which I don't even know where my straw is but I want to try no you know what mm. I'm just gonna wait till I get home. I was gonna open up the lid, but that is gonna be a disaster knowing me. I am just a hot mess all the time. When it comes to food, I'm always making this like really big mess and there's just no going back after that. All my clothes are like basically stained. This is the most milk I have ever pumped. This is a lot. I'm pretty sure this is over a hundred if not maybe like 130 mil maybe ended up doing takeout instead and this is what parenthood is looking like during our first year anniversary and we got girl meets world on and here's my hubby happy anniversary love you trying to find a jelly cat dragon for this little guy no it's too girly. <laughs> I wish. I really wish. It's probably expensive. Look how large it is. <laughs> I can't even get it in the frame. There you go. <laughs> it's cute. Not my aesthetic, but I guess I can let it slide. Let it slide. I know. We're, like this is the one that we wanted, but we didn't realize that the wings and stuff are like sparkly and yeah, no, it's like not not it. And same with like this one too. This was another one that I was looking at, but the sparkles like show even more on the white. Yeah. And then this one was just, I mean, it's just not it. The colors aren't it. So this is what we are going with. And there was the with. sky one too. Oh yeah. But it only comes in a smaller version. Yeah. yeah. So this is the one that we are going with. Again, not my aesthetic, but I can let it slide. Let it slide. So we did a little shopping because um, Taylor grew out of all of his uh, preemie clothes. He's getting big. So bought this little dinosaur onesie that came with this green pinstripe, that pinstripe. Um, this music pack, these two came together. And then we did all these different sports balls. And then this one's just like another dinosaur. It's not pajamas, but it's a nice outfit to go out, I guess. And then today we went to Winners, or Marshalls. And then we got this five pack Mickey Mouse set. Comes with a short sleeve onesie, sweater, shorts, pants, and a bucket hat. I think we're good for clothes now. Now you get a gift. Mm -hmm. This is your day late for anniversary, so it's your push <laughs> present. I hope you don't know what it is by the packaging. Am I allowed to turn it over? Yeah. Say? Don't know? Good. Look 
at the necklace that Renee got me. It says Taylor on it. I love it. I didn't know if you want it longer or shorter. Short. This is perfect. But I just measured what you already have. I love it. Look at that. I love 